Hello again, uh, this is Mad Monk. Um, so, here we've got uh, somewhat of a, a map of, uh, of uh, from the Mideast to China, almost the Mideast to China, and uh, Korea and Japan there. Um, so, the, the part in orange, uh, just south of Nepal, that's the sort of the region where the Buddha grew up and wandered around not not so much moving on over into uh into uh modern day bangladesh and, and then down to burma but uh just uh sort of the left half of that circle i've got drawn there i got a little carried away um so that's that's where the buddha originally was and then the whole kind of the whole pink area that's where the sort of the original teaching of the buddha spread and you can see it going down to sri lanka and um moving on over into uh burma and um and the other southeast asian countries there um and then from there actually from burma on up into china where it sort of turned into something different called Mahayana, which that's what they call themselves. It's uh, it means great vehicle, and uh, I'll probably uh, talk about that at some point in a in a future video. But uh, that's the kind of the Mahayana went up China into Korea and Japan, and then uh, you can see up there Tibet that developed a little bit later. And um, it's sort of its own thing called Vajrayana. There's, um, it's uh, also, you know, tan Tantra, you know, Tantra um, Buddhism um, up there in Tibet. And then, so, and then, you know, uh, as far as most of India, um, the Islamic invasion pretty well wiped out Buddhism, which had already, to some extent, um, uh, sort of um, been pushed back by by the traditional Hindu religion, um, and uh, so pretty much, you know, Buddhism doesn't exist today in India, um, um, almost at all. Um, down in the south, somewhat, you can see that the uh, Islamic uh, invasion never re quite reached the bottom or conquered the bottom there of the um, Indian subcontinent um, and then Sri Lanka they I guess weren't conquered and so that's where the Theravada teaching that we're dealing with comes from where it was sort of preserved amidst all this chaos that was going on over the centuries um, at Sri Lanka they they have um, you know that's where they have the copies of the the Pali Canon and so that's what we're going to be working on studying is the Pali Canon, um, the sort of the older teaching as opposed to either Mahayana or Vajrayana.